to say is life is a piece of shit. piece of shiz anyways we've got a ton of different questions and we're just gonna get started we're just gonna give you a little life update i've been really inactive on youtube and i'm really sorry i'm trying to be more active i just have a ton of classes i just started classes and so i've been moving back in trying to get settled finding new friends there's been like the add and drop period for classes so making sure i have my schedule and just really trying to settle down and get my schedule planned because i'm a big planner i'm a big schedule person list maker all that jazz we love that jazz um anyways so i've been really inconsistent i'm super sorry i also had some problems with editors so i had the videos ready last week the transformation videos that i posted recently i had those already a little bit ago but then problems with editors so i'm getting there thank you for your patience please be patient with me and if you ever have any videos also let me know you know you know how it is so where do we even get started? I'm gonna look for some questions you guys have been asking. I asked you guys to ask me questions on on my Instagram and I forgot to screenshot them. Again, I have not been in the right headspace, y'all. I am so sorry. I'm working on it. Um, I want to just know what you guys like to see. Um, <clears throat> I've been posting a lot more reels and I'm wondering if you guys like the reels. Like, do we enjoy seeing all the different reels? Um, I haven't been posting a lot of photos lately. Those just haven't been getting much interaction. I also am terrible at taking photos, so I'm getting better at that. I just can't exactly take my own photos because unless you want selfies and selfies, I, I do too. I do enough selfies and mirror pics. So I want to know what kind of content do you guys like to see on Instagram? Do you like seeing the day in my life reels? Do you like seeing the dancing reels, the skit reels? Do you want me to post more on my stories? Just let me know. Let me know. Um, a lot of people are asking me about college. Um, my what my major is, like how college has been going. So college has been pretty good. Um, I will admit that what you guys see online is far from what it really is. Honestly, you guys are basically seeing the little flower or what's something, some type of plant that is like a little tiny thing, like just this little tiny cute flower or tree or whatever. But in reality, what college is really like is all the roots and all the crap that's below it. College is great. College is an amazing learning experience and I have been really loving college because I've grown a lot. I'm starting to figure myself out what I want my life to look like. It's actually been super interesting. I'm starting to see like the transformation of like becoming an adult, which is really cool. But it also sucks. I will not lie, it can really suck. I, I love the freedom. <laughs> I get to, I can like go and hang out with friends. Like the other night I went and just hung out with some friends till three in the morning. Sorry, mom, dad. Uh, we didn't go anywhere, we we're just in an apartment. So we were safe, don't worry. But it, um, the freedom was great. And getting to hang out is really awesome because then I really actually get to explore what I want. Um, just explore anything and it's kind of just trial and error which that's where the rough parts can really come in play because you don't know what to do what not to do so you kind of just have to airball it and see what happens um uh, i will admit i have had the biggest struggle with fr finding friends i am um, i'm really big on i tend to i like being in groups you know i like being in a group but I also like having like my best friend, but I'm learning, I'm learning to enjoy group settings a lot more just cause I don't know, being in a group of people is just really fun, especially here. It's super fun, but there are times when I definitely feel very left out or, um, when I'm just not invited to things, which is fine. You know, sometimes you're just not invited and you just gotta learn to live with that basically. In all of this, I've learned to kind of enjoy my own company. I'm still working on it. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of just spitting anything out. Um, but I'm learning to enjoy my own company. And that's where, that's that's been the hardest part for me. Is trying to figure out how to be alone. How to be happy on my own without having somebody else be my, like, entertainment. I don't mean that in, like, a bad way. But just someone who can 
be fun to hang out with, you know? So that's been a big struggle. It sucked. I, yeah, it sucked, but that's college life. Um, classes have been fantastic. I love my classes. I have actually changed my major and my minor. So I was a business major, but now I've always found that I've really enjoyed helping people, right? I love helping people. I love when they talk to me about like things they're struggling with and when I can help and give advice. I may not know exactly. I may not know like anything really, but when where I can give advice, I really like to help. And so I decided to change my major to family and human development with a minor in psychology. So what I want to do is I want to become like a life coach. I'm still figuring it out. I haven't done much research at all, but I think that would be really cool to be a life coach. Um, I don't want to be a, th a therapist per se um, or a psychologist just because I know that I think for me personally, I wouldn't be able to handle all that, all of that weight on me because I take... I internalize things a lot, which is something I could also learn to, like, adjust, if that makes sense. So, that being said, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking some psychology classes, which I'm so excited about. I am loving psychology. Failing psychology at the moment, but loving it. We're working on that. Okay. I did not think I was going to cry in this video. But here we are. You guys have all are all sleuths. Actually, no, this has been pretty obvious, so <laughs> there's not much sleuthing to be doing in this, but I've gotten constant questions about why a lot of my photos of me and Jonathan are deleted off my Instagram. His, why his letter is not in my, dis my description thing on Instagram, why all of my photos of, why all his photos of us are deleted off his Instagram, why he has unfollowed all of our, all of, m holy crap, why he's unfollowed me and my accounts and all of my family accounts, why are there no photos of us on the wall anymore, why have I not talked about Jothan anymore, I'm sure it's pretty obvious what happened, but Jothan and I decided to break up, I don't know why I'm crying, actually I do know why I'm crying, um, it's actually been a little bit since it's happened, so we're we're moving on. We're moving forward. We're moving to bigger, better things, but it still hurts. Um, uh, as you all know, Jothan is serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, and when serving a mission, it is very, very hard to have attachments or have other ties, I guess you could say, elsewhere than on the mission. When you go on a mission, you really want to try and serve with all your, they say, serve with all your heart, mind, mind, and strength. And that's, that's when you can have the most success or you can have the most life-changing experiences, basically. Because in anything, in anything, if your head's somewhere else, it, it just doesn't work. You have to have your, your head in the game, like Troy Bolton said, or Zac Efron. Anyways, um, and so us doing long distance him being on a mission and trying to still steadily date was just a struggle. It was just a struggle. Um, uh, and it wasn't what was meant for us. We are both two people that love to go very in on things. Jothan, when we were in college, he, he did, he was someone who would go 100% in on anything. In volleyball, he was always there like 30 minutes before practices he was always trying his hardest, looking at all of his film, making sure like he's growing and he's doing the best he can so that he can put forth the best effort he can. Same with school. 4.0 student, or yeah, <laughs> something like that. Pretty close to 4.0 student. Um, he was always there for his classes. He always had his homework turned in on time, if not early. He made sure that he was fully invested. And he helped me to do the same thing. I can sometimes... I'm a great procrastinator. Not very good. That's not a good thing. It's like... That's like... Kind of... Cancels each other out. Anyways. But he helped me to be better with that. And so when it came to his mission, he... This was something he had been preparing since he was little. Something that he was really, really looking forward to. Something that was meant for him. He is the most incredible missionary. 
and I'm very proud of him, but that it just wasn't working out. We were trying to steadily date, which is also something we probably shouldn't have done. We probably should have, like, stepped back from one another a little bit, but we were just two people who loved each other so, so very much. And we just couldn't, we just couldn't not, like, be talking to each other and be, like, wondering if one another was okay, that it just, it was, it was hindering both of us from growing to become the best version of ourselves that we could be. And so, uh, yeah, we decided to part ways. It was good. It wasn't a bad breakup at all. I still love and care for Jothan very dearly, but it's time for both of us to party it up on our own, in our own ways. Um, and uh, this is where we need to like grow as individuals. I feel like for me personally, I am not ready to like get married right now, right? I, and so I'm excited to date around and just kind of get more experience so that I can be the best version of myself that I can be. And I'm really grateful that Jothan did what he, like that Jothan initiated this in a sense because it helped me to now go on to the path that I needed to be on, if that makes sense. And so here we are. I'm still struggling. I still miss him a lot, but it feels good. That sounds really psychotic. It makes sense in my brain, so don't, please don't judge me for that, basically. But this path feels like a much more comfortable path, right? Because now we're both growing in the ways that we need to grow. We still care for each other. Um, I think the reason why he also did that is because he saw that we were both not able to become the person we needed to be it was hindering both of us and so because he cared a lot he did that and I know that it sucked for him I know it probably still sucks for him um he's a great person and like I said I still love him so much and it's different now obviously but still love him still care for him still want him to be super happy and have the best life that he can Still love his family. His family is my favorite. I'll sometimes like look over my photos and videos and laugh so hard just from all the fun memories. But as of right now, I am on my own, just chilling at college, trying to, uh, I don't know the word, but trying to just figure out where the crap I am going. So that is that. Now the answer, now you guys got your answer. Jotha and I broke up, parted ways, but still care for him. And yeah, that is that.